It's cancer, sir. Cancer of what? Uh, it's not up to two weeks now. <laughs> save me, man of God, please save me. Man of God, save me. Save me. Save me. This is sand. This is sand. I use it on your chest. Only on your chest. Can you remove one body? The cancer is removed from your body. This earth will cover the wound. Cover the wound, dry the wound, and remove the cancer. You are created with sand. So I create you with sand to regain back your life, your health. In Jesus' name. If some of us were here on Wednesday, you can see great difference. When we came here with this cancerous um, pain, it was bringing out water. You can't look at the sights. How many of us were here? Can you look at it right now? Pastor told him that, go, come back on Sunday. Do you see it? Wow. Honestly, or honestly, you can't look at it. And see what God has done for him. The place, if you look at it, you can't you can't even, you can't even look at it. You can't look you can't at even it. Look at it on Wednesday. You can't look, it is how how was it? It was bloody. bloody. Then I, we could not see it two times. Me, I just see it. I just got my eyes. The thing was swell up and bloody. bloody. The thank God, the thing has started drying. Was very bloody, disgustive, swollen. The eyesight was something else. It's the hands of God. Hallelujah. The reason why I asked my mom to bring me here because on my journey from Ibadan is from Ibadan. The uh, this thing broken. So he was. I went for a job. So I went for a job. It's not even up to a week. Then he started. One of the suddenly he started. So I decided to come back. Five minutes and come back. Before I came back to Kaduna, it was hell for me. No vehicle want to carry me. No vehicle. Because of how the place looked like. Yes, because he was smelling. Yes, that was how it looked like when we when he came on Wednesday. Smelling. smelling, disgusting. Yes, sir. And more than I around around three, the vehicle that took me dropped me around three on the road around uh, Kateri. That I was so smelling, he can't take he can't take me anywhere. He now refund my money back to me. I now find somewhere and lie down. And one outside man just passing by, he now says to me, Who are you and what are you doing here? I said, I'm not too feeling well. He said, You can't lie down here because this place is dangerous. I now stood up. Immediately I just stood up to stand on the road. Immediately a vehicle come and drop someone. And when you drop that person, he now asked me, where am I going? I said, I'm going to Kaduna. She said, how much do you have there? I said, I have only 1,000 Naira with me. He said, come inside to the vehicle. He now bring me down straight to Kaduna. Where's the mother? On Monday night that I came back, I reached home. I reached home around 2, 2 a.m. So on Tuesday morning when I was sleeping, I had a dream that I saw you. You saw me? Yes. I saw you. You are putting on half jacket, white, complete white with a black tie. And you lay hand on me and tell me to stand up. Immediately when I opened up my eyes, 
I couldn't understand myself. I go back to sleep. It's the next day I asked my mom, when is your when I went to ease myself in the, in the next morning, as I'm coming out from the bedroom, I was hearing a woman playing uh, the morning devotion that you normally do on radio. On radio, yes. Yes. Immediately I was coming out from the bathroom. And immediately I asked my mom, I saw you in my dream and I really want to be here. He came with a sickness that had been diagnosed as cancer of neck. And on Wednesday, serious on pain. He was on pain, serious on pain. He, this guy sat like that, like this, like this, sit that like. And I was lying down on my mother's body. God like you. I've never seen any God like you. I've never seen any God. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. My name is God's will, Abaku. I'm here to glorify the goodness of God in my life. I am here last week Sunday, Wednesday to last week Sunday. If everyone will recognize me. I want to appreciate the name of the Lord for what he has done in my life. And I want to thank God for his goodness to my life. Daddy, I appreciate your God. I appreciate your God. Sorry, please. Can you just see that? Hey, look at it. My God. Can you see that? This is God. This is God. Oh my goodness. Our God answers prayer. Wednesday, that's a week ago. You can see how this was so bloody. You can look at it. The cancerous element was just out. You smelling. But look at what God has done. The man of God said, on Sunday, you will see difference. He used the sand to minister to him. How many of us were there? The problem with you? It's cancer, sir. Cancer of what? Uh, it's not up to two weeks now. <laughs> save me, man of God, please save me. Man of God, save me. Save me. Accent for me. Accent. This is sand. This is sand. I use it on your chest. Only on your chest. Can you remove one body? Cancer is removed from your body. This earth will cover the wound. Cover the wound, dry the wound, and remove the cancer. Put sand as a sign of earth. You are created with sand. So I create you with sand to regain back your life, your health in Jesus' name. Stand up and give God. The pain will go. The pain automatically will go from you. Thank you, Jesus. The pain will automatically, Pastor. The pain will automatically go. Then by next week it should come. On Sunday it should come. The sand, and he came back on Sunday. Everything was dried up, and not just that. When he came, say he cannot talk. He cannot drink. He sits where long for us. But look at now, he can scream. He can. He was shouting, Hallelujah. My God, this is just God. Put things together for Jesus. Our God is awesome. There is God here. In any way you go, no matter how you try, no matter how you feel, you feel there is not God. There is God out there. 
waiting to lay hand on you and make you to be whole again. Daddy, I appreciate your God. Your God indeed is a great God. You serve a true and living God. When he say yes, no man can say no. I never believe or think I will be like this. On Sunday, I was here. I was still in the church, but I'm still feeling pains because of the teeth. And there is boil under my tongue. Immediately, Daddy prays for me. I feel the pain stop immediately. So after the closing time, we went out. I was about going home. I tell my mom that I'm thirsty. And she said, okay, let her get a bottle of mineral for me. She get a bottle of mineral for me. Immediately, I'm taking the mineral. Towards the ending, I feel the taste of the mineral is different completely. I was like, what's this taste? This taste is different with the mineral. I now pour the spirit on the ground. The boil that is under my tongue broke. Hallelujah! Since that Sunday, when we reached home, when we reached home, water started coming out from the boy. Water, water. Immediately, I now tell my mom that I want to lie down and sleep. The sleep that I cannot sleep for, for a long time. That Sunday, seriously, it was a long sleep. Hallelujah. I thank God for everything. I appreciate the name of God. I return all the glory to God for making me to be like this. There are many people in the hospital hoping to stand on their feet like this. So many people have a kind of my problem. But my own case is different. With God. With God. Everyone should believe with God. All things are possible. When you lose all hope. Run to God. And God will make you to stand again. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Hallelujah. From that broken, he now as if they use knife and tear it with shear. That's how water started coming out. I now have to remove one shirt from my back and cover it. That shirt was soaked completely. Completely. I have to throw away that shirt and I have to take another shirt to cover it. When we drop in Abuja, I try to take another car to Kaduna. The first car I took is a J5. So when I was inside that J5, the driver now, we are moving. The driver now said, Kai, this car is smelling. There is something in this car that is smelling. He can't move further. Please put the mic. Let me ask mama. Mommy, how do you feel now? I After your son has been healed, what do you have to tell the people of God? Thank you, Jesus. Thank Just... you, Jesus. Now go the way Allah. You know that you cheer your own. You are bashing so much. You are bashing love. You are man of God. Now go the maka. Now go the. Now go the. Now go the. Bani the abun the zambaka. Now go the maka. Now go the maka. The abun the kai. Now go the. She's thanking God for what God has done for her son. And my brother, God will. What do you have to say to people out there who are facing the same challenges? Like your face, what do you have to say to them? Hallelujah. 
My encouragement to those that are out there, please, this is the place to be. And I have already made myself a member of this church already. Praise the Lord! Even though I'm not invited by anybody, I have invited myself already to be a member of this. This church, I have already been a member of this church. And no matter your sickness, no matter your illness that you feel, no one can help you run to this commission. Run to this commission. God is here. God is here. There's a God of healing. God of compassion. And may God Hallelujah. But I God when you're blessed. Your healing is permanent. It's a new dawn in your life. Hallelujah. Take the money. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. More is coming your way. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you, people of God. You saw the testimony. You saw what God did. Don't leave. It's a cancer of the neck. In the hospital, he spent millions and millions. And maybe there will be no result. But he came here. Just a simple prayer from the man of God. The cancer disappeared. Hallelujah. Go out there. Bring people that are sick. That's a God that heals people here in Covenant Life Church. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. And you are looking so fresh and fine now. By the grace of God, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm very, very better. Come on, give Jesus a big hand. Cancer of the neck has just been humiliated under eight days. Eight days. Under eight days. Cancer of the neck was humiliated. Dried up. 
healed on that eight days. Come on, give Jesus a big hand. You're happy. Hallelujah. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. I'm very, very excited. You can eat well now. Very well. Very well. All your teeth, your gum, your mouth is all gone. Everything is gone. Everything is gone. Everything is gone. I'm happy. Come on, give Jesus a big hand. Come on, my Jesus.